Hi everyone, this is Zach. In this video, I'll be talking about tidy data. I want to acknowledge that the slides are adapted from Chapter 12, Tidy Data, of the book R for Data Science, which was written by Garrett Gorlamon and Hadley Wickham, who is the author of the Tidyverse. So, the same data can actually be represented in multiple different ways. For example, if you look at this data table on the left, another person might represent that data in the format shown on the right. And actually, there are other possible formats as well, which you'll see later. When the same thing can be represented in different ways, that leads to confusion. So. Uh, this actually makes communication uh, difficult or prone to errors. The solution is to use a standard way to represent data. So for example, in written Chinese, you might have uh, the four Chinese characters for the name of city university. In Putonghua, this would be pronounced 城市大学 and in Cantonese, it might be pronounced as Sing Si Dai Ho. And in um, Minan Yu, it would be pronounced somehow, but I don't know Minan Yu, so I can't guess. But uh, what happened in China was there was a standard uh, way to speak, which is called Putonghua. And that's kind of the way that everyone speaks in that standard way so that it's easy for people to communicate. Similarly, for in the tidyverse, there's a standard way of, of storing data, which is called tidy data. Basically, the tidy data follows three rules. First, each variable must have its own column. Second, each observation must have its own row. And thirdly, each value should have a single cell. And it's important for data to be tidy because it's much easier to work with inside the tidyverse when the data is tidy. For example, if the data, like as shown here, is tidy, it's very easy to use mutate to compute the rate of the disease or to count the number of cases per year. And you'll see that in the lecture scripts later. So how do you tidy data? If a variable is spread across multiple columns, you need to gather those columns into a new pair of variables. If an observation is scattered across multiple rows, you need to spread the rows across multiple columns. And finally, if a column contains two variables, you need to separate the column into two different columns. So the first case, where a variable is spread across multiple columns, you need to use the gather function. Uh, and if an observation is spread, scattered across multiple rows, like this, you need to spread that column across multiple columns. And finally, if a column contains multiple variables, you need to separate that column into two different columns. Alright, that's the end. That's all for now. Uh, do run the Tidy Data Lecture script that w and watch the video that will help you to see how this works as code. See you next time. Bye!